All right, welcome back to the channel. My name is Don and decided today to do a quick tutorial on test cuts and how you should do a test cut on each and every individual material. And even after your blade gets a little dull, uh, you kind of want to do a test cut before you do anything, you know, you don't want to waste material. So this is the way I do it. I've got a small two and a half inch by 12 inch piece of vinyl and we're going to do it on this, but uh, you're going to use these same steps to go through any material you try to cut, whether that be cardstock, glitter paper, all that good stuff that everybody has problems with. Uh, but I've got a piece of this black vinyl and it should give us a really good idea on how, how things work. So uh, what I'm going to do is on my mat here, I've got the uh, Cameo 4 set up. I've got a 12 by 12 cutting mat set up and then I've got my media size set to 12 by 12. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and grab a square. And I'm just going to do a about a two and a half by 12 inch so I can stay within the boundaries. And we can go up here and, and kind of set it 2.5. Oop, not 25. There we go. So I'm going to change the uh, color of this line to something different. Um, just this weird greenish gray color here. Uh, that way we don't cut it later on down the road. Um, but I'm just going to build a, a, a size of my scrap, two and a half by about 12. Uh, we can go ahead and make this 12. <clears throat> and then I'm just going to center it in the middle of the page by clicking this right here. It just aligns everything to center. And then I'm going to put something that I want to cut, just some, some shapes. Uh, so we'll just come down here and just grab a couple of these shapes to just give us a, um, we can just do a small star and well, let's see what else. Um, we can kind of do this one. Um, I would grab shapes plan. You know, if you have something that you're planning on cutting, try to grab a shape that has, uh, you know, that kind of style to it. Uh, you know, maybe a, a little arrow for sharp points or something like that. Uh, but just something, and, and you can uh, just do two or three different cuts there. And we're just going to put it on here. And we'll just paste these right here in the at the bottom side of our paper. So we're going to place our little pieces of art down here on the bottom. Um, and that's just what we're going to use to cut... Um, and make sure everything's cutting okay after we do a couple of test cuts across the way. And you can even give yourself some room for test cuts if you think you're going to have to do a lot by just moving these over here. And that'll give you the whole line up here on top and then some room down here on bottom as well. And we'll go over to the Cameo machine and I'll show you how to set up your test, test cut and get it ready to go. But uh, from here you can go to the Send tab and then let's say that you have uh, again we only we don't want to do simple we want to go to line and use line for doing uh, our vinyl today but um, let's say you have no idea you've never cut vinyl before and you're wanting to just start from basic scratch and I think let's see let's just go to what they recommend here we're gonna go to the We'll do it on the red ones because that's what we're going to cut eventually. And we'll just go to the regular vinyl. Uh, let's see. Vinyl, vinyl, vinyl. So we'll just say we were we were going to cut matte vinyl. And that's going to put you at a 1 with a force of 10, a speed of 5, and 1 pass. Um, I already know that's not going to work. But we're going to start off there and do a test cut. And I'll show you what that does and how to tell if which which one you need to change first. Um, personally, I always like to start with the blade depth change. I always go up one or two, uh, just depending. But um, we'll, we'll start off here and we'll take a look at the vinyl, get it put on our mat, get it installed in the Cameo 4, and then we can uh, start doing some test cuts. All right, so here I've got a piece of uh, scrap vinyl. Uh, it's approximately two and a half inches wide, maybe a little wider than that, uh, by 12 wide. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place it on the mat and get it as straight as possible. And we'll just get that put on there just like that. And from there we can just load up our machine and get it ready to go. I like to make sure it's good and stuck to the mat. And we'll just put that right up here and press the load button. Now again, we want to make sure that our, our uh, blade is in there good. Can't pull it out. And everything seems to be a go. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these arrow keys over here. Let me get the camera turned. There we go. Um, if you do it right here, it usually tries to cut up on your mat. Uh, so I like to place the blade right over the top of where I want to do my test cut. So uh, you'll just use these um, arrows right over here to kind of slowly get it over the top. And then just move it over there. And we just want to leave just enough um, on the edge there to make sure we don't go off of the edge. So from there, we can turn around and do a test cut. Basically, we're just going to hit our test cut button. Uh, we don't want to cut the red lines yet, but um, we'll just hit a test cut and let it do that. All right. Then we can unload our mat. Just let it kick out there. And I'll try to take a good picture of that. I've, I've been using black to hopefully be able to let you see it you can see where i've i've done a few test cuts and, and didn't center it on my on my uh substrate that i was cutting but try to get it in the light here for you so you can see it so from there what we're going to do is we're going to try to peel out the square we got a square with a triangle inside of it and we're going to try to peel that that square out but on these settings, it's not going to let us peel that square out. So nothing comes out of there. So we know we've got to do some adjusting. So let's go ahead and get our machine set back up to do another test cut. We're just going to load it right back up. And then we're going to make sure that our new test cut is to the right of our last test cut. And we're just going to keep working down the line till we get everything set correctly. All right, that should be a little off to the right. And let me get turned around here and we'll hit test cut again. And we need to change our settings. So I like to jump by two on the blade depth if it's not letting me peel it at all I'll immediately jump by two so we'll just go to a blade depth of three we're gonna leave the force alone until we feel like we've got the blade depth correct so let's uh, go ahead and and use a setting of three on our blade depth a force of ten and a speed of five with one pass now let's hit test cut All right, we can unload our mat. You can see I've got my um, I've got my mess up test cut right there. But here's our new test cut, and uh, we're just kind of moving along here. Let's see if we can get this one peeled out. Okay, that one does peel, so that that came out just fine. And what I'm left with is a triangle in the middle of that blank square. So now I'm going to pull that triangle out and what I want to look at is how deep this cut is around the triangle. So I don't know if you can see that or not. Let me see if I can get it up there closer. There go the right way. I'm not sure my camera is going to let me. but. We want to see how deep that line is. Right now it's not too deep, but it feels like it is cutting through the top uh, portion of paper. Um, so we know now that our blade depth is correct. 
so now what we want to do is we want to start adjusting our force and that force backing that force off a little bit will give us what we're what we need on this triangle right here and so we can load our map back up again and we'll set up for another test cut all right so we're set up good to go there so we were a little heavy on the cut around the triangle so what i want to do is i want to back that down so i'm going to just cut it in half so we're going to take it down to five uh, which gives us a blade depth setting of three and a force of five a speed of five and one pass and we're going to do another test cut unload the machine and here we are again now let's see if everything peels out all right okay it looks like we were able to get that out of there yeah came out just good and let's peel our triangle out all right so now what I'm seeing I don't know if you can see that on camera, but what I'm seeing is the square cut out very well. Uh, the triangle cut out, but I don't see any indention hardly at all on the paper, um, on the backing paper. And although it's, it would be great if everything worked well that way, uh, but what I've noticed is if, if you um, leave it too shallow, then you'll have some skipped cuts, especially if you're doing some fine detail stuff. So... We want to see a little bit more of a triangle outline on this pattern, just a little bit more. So let's load our machine back up one more time. All right. And let's... Um, change that force and bring it up just a little bit so I've got a, a blade depth of three I'm going to move the force up uh, to seven and we've got a speed of five and one pass let's do a test cut there see where we're at now I don't have the best setup for this but um, we're trying to get it here all right so let's see how our square comes out square comes out very well and pull the triangle out all right the triangle is I can now see a, a, a very good outline around the triangle and the square come off the triangle just fine everything looks great so now what i want to do is i want to my little uh, shapes that i'd put on there i'm going to use those to do a kind of a little further test before i go into uh, material that i don't want to waste so we'll go ahead and load our machine up and now what we want to do is we want to make sure that we're set up and ready to do these cuts uh, we definitely want to cut the red line. We don't want to cut this green line. So we go to our, our red line. We've got our vinyl mat, which is what we've been changing down here, the settings for it. And we want to turn off the green line. That way we don't cut it. And let's see. So click back up on this to make sure we're doing the right thing. We've got our blade depth of three, our force of seven, speed of five, and one pass. Uh, so let's uh, go ahead and cut these shapes out, and if they all peel out well, then we know we've got a pretty good test cut, and we should be ready to cut our, our artwork that we don't want to waste on the vinyl. So. All right, 
unload our mat and we can peel these shapes out and see how well they come out let me make sure I'm in the camera here it's kind of hard to hold it at this angle but go ahead and get our star we can peel that out that, that did really well do this kind of a rounded star shape that peeled out really well and now let's peel out our arrow oh, my tweezers aren't the greatest here they don't like to grab oh come on oh yeah that's perfect so there you have it that's uh that's the easiest way on a new material to make sure that you're going to have a good cut um, if you have a cut uh, if, if it's starting to cut bad and you've been using that blade quite a bit it's always good to do you know grab a piece of scrap um, and throw it in there and go through these settings and, and just try to you know get it back to normal uh, your blade depth is uh, what really moves it the most uh, so if you're you're just having a lot of problems uh, getting to cut it all, uh, keep going up on the blade depth till you get a good cut. And then once you get a good cut, then you can start worrying about your force. And the, the force is what, kind of the fine-tuning of the cut and just trying to get everything correct. So, all right. If you guys have any questions, please put them down in the comments section below. And make sure you like, share, and subscribe to my page. I'd sure appreciate it. We're going to be doing more of these tutorials in the future. If you've got any uh, uh, requests for tutorials that you'd like to see me do, just let me know in the comments. Thank you very much.